All right, we're back on this 2022 Prius. And as you can see, I removed the accumulator out of the assembly. Here's the bracket. And I cut off the bottom using a saw. That's all metal filings from cutting it off. But I was looking at the quantity of oil that is in here. And uh, you can see it's really thick with oil. There's a lot of, but you see that up inside there? That is your Dessinger material, and that's a big ass bag. This reminds me of an old uh, General Motors or Ford in your accumulator with a giant desiccant material. Now, just that desiccant material alone, all by itself, can soak up two or three ounces of oil. It stays in there like a sponge. So if I took that desiccant material out and I was able to, you can't squeeze it because it's all BBs inside there, desiccant material. But if you were to soak it, let's say in 100% pure alcohol, you know, 99.9% .9 alcohol, and you absorbed and diluted and your solvent from your alcohol would mix with the oil and the desiccant material, and you'd say you had it in a thousand milliliter beaker, and you take and you wring out your desiccant material, and then you evaporated off the alcohol, you would be left behind with pure oil and you can measure how much oil is actually in the bag. Another thing you can do is you take the bag and if you knew the weight of a brand new one that was dry and then you weigh the old bag, you would know how many ounces of oil were soaked inside there. Um, and another way you could clean it out, you could have the desiccant bag, you could weigh it, how many grams it weighed, clean it out in some brake cleaner alcohol several times, keep rinsing it, until it has no oil content, dry it out and then weigh the bag. And then you would know the difference of what you washed out there. So you how many ounces. But these hold about three ounces of oil. There's roughly, uh, sometimes there's more oil in the bottom of these. This time it lost it all really fast. It lost all its oil. And the way I know that, you see that hole right there? That hole comes to this pipe right here. That was, which one was this? I can't even remember. Ah, that one right there. Right out of the bottom. You see this right here? This is where all the oil is. Okay, let me pull this off. Watch this. Ugh, damn it, you don't want to come off. Okay, this comes off. I could pry it off if I screw it But right down here, this is where all the oil is. And the oil is supposed to stay in the refrigerant in the bottom. The oil, or actually not refrigerant, uh, this is all filled with vapor. There's no liquid in here. But the liquid oil is in the bottom, and the liquid oil will fill this up. And the liquid oil will be about at or above the level of that screen. And it uses a Venturi effect. And as it sucks the refrigerant out of the system, the oil that accumulates in the bottom goes through that screen and gets mixed with the refrigerant going back to the compressor and it's only supposed to deliver so much oil it doesn't let too much oil go back to the compressor so it doesn't damage the compressor and so since this one got cracked right at that line right there you see that hole that is a direct relation going all the way down the tube coming all the way down to the bottom and that means all the refrigerant that was down here mixed with the oil instantly flashed out and came out of that hole. And when it did, that's why I noticed he said, the technician who was here, he says, this is all you could see right here. This is all covered with oil and there's dust on it now. But he says this was all wet with oil. This was all wet with oil and was just dripping with oil when this came in. So that means there was a lot of oil. Now. You got a $1,500 compressor there. You got a $2,600 accumulator valving assembly here. If you burned up this compressor, you're looking at a $6,000 job because if you physically burn it up where the oil turns black, there's metal filings, and you get it throughout, all that contaminated oil goes throughout the system, you basically replace everything. And you'll spend a shitload of time taking all this apart, flushing it. You got to take off the evaporator, take off the expansion valves, the solenoids, the sensors. You have to flush the evaporator or replace it. You have to replace the condenser. And uh, yeah, you're looking at a $6,000 plus bill 
if you don't do this correctly. So I know how much oil basically was just lost in this accident because it's not like most of the accidents, they don't break this. This doesn't get broke like this. But in a case scenario like this, a lot of oil was lost. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the back into oil and uh, I know I'm going three ounces of oil inside here. Look at that, I mean, that stuff is thick as hell. It's really cold outside. But there's a lot of thick oil in there. And um, it's good to know that. Now, if this did not come to me and say they sent it down to your neighborhood, um, Quickie Lube or Jiffy Lube or something like that who does air conditioning for cheap, and the guy doesn't know about these accumulators. He's just Joe Blow, young technician, no education, no experience, no reading, no schools, no nothing. It's just like, they hired him from the pizza place and taught him how to hook up a red and blue hose and push buttons. He doesn't know that there's several ounces of oil lost in this system. So what does he do? He just hooks up his hoses, you get the big dumb machine, hit all the buttons, tell how much refrigerant in there. And maybe they put in one ounce of oil because they think, oh, the condenser is placed or, no, you put in one ounce of oil just for shits and giggles. And uh, one ounce of oil will be really low up on the amount of oil that this system lost. So it will work when it's in his shop it will work when it leaves the shop it will work when it gets delivered back to the body shop and, it, and it, this is winter time so the customer is not going to use it unless they're in a place where they use the heat pump but in, around here they won't even use the heat pump because we're in san francisco we're not in uh somewhere where it snows and, or at least that much and they will eventually burn up the compressor because they were low on oil but this won't happen for many months maybe a year later it doesn't happen right away so it's like sabotage a ticking time bomb to destroy a compressor a year later and uh, this is one of the things that I find happen a lot where the bumper goes back on and goes down to Joe Blow's automotive shop and they don't know about that so all right that's enough for this one I'm down to a hundred microns almost and uh, it's about time to fill this thing up and I'll see you later. And uh, don't forget guys, always use your nylog on all your O-ring seals. See you.